Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and today's video is going to be a little bit shorter. Got to move my bag out of the way. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter because I have to go to my nephew's birthday party. And so I literally just got home from church. I'm going to sit down, record this video, and then pretty much get back up and leave for my nephew's birthday party. So, today's video was inspired by something I saw when I was leaving church today. And that is asshole parking. Now, forgive my French, but there are certain people in this world that do not know how to park the proper way. I don't know how many of my viewers drive, but if you drive, you either are this person, sorry, or you have seen this person before. Now, I've never really seen stupid parking at my church before, and I'm not going to say it's because it's a church and everyone who loves God knows how to park, because that's obviously not the case. But there are some certain things that you should just not do when you're in a car. So I'm kind of chasing, changing the course of this video from asshole parkers to asshole drivers in general. So number one is parking. It really isn't that hard, guys. It, I promise you, I struggled with it a little bit at first, getting in and out of parking spaces. But I never struggled with being in between the lines. Those lines are there for a reason, my friends. Those lines are there as guidelines. You park in between the two white lines. There's two white lines. There's some space in the middle. You park in that space. You don't park on the line. You don't park so that the line is in between your wheels. You park in between the two lines. You are taking up way too many parking spaces. You only need one unless you're a freaking giant truck that like, I don't know, carry stuff, <laughs> carry stuff. You do not need two parking spaces, Mr. Minivan at church today. You do not need those two parking spaces. And not only that, they weren't even parked straight. They were diagonally in between these two parking spaces. And I was just face palming. I took a picture of it because everybody needs to see it. But I am so disappointed <laughs> with the people that did that because I've never seen people park like that at my church before. So the second thing is turn signals. Turn signals save lives, folks. Probably. So here's a fact that probably most of you people who don't use your turn signals don't seem to know. And that is they're there for a reason. Most of the things that are in your car are there for a reason, like a good reason. I mean, you could probably go without a radio, but your turn signal, for instance, that is something that is there for a reason. There is a reason why your car has a turn signal and that's so you can use it so the people all around you know what's going through your head because contrary to common belief, we cannot read minds through our cars, all right? I mean, here's a little tip for you people who are new drivers or have not driven yet, or maybe you have been driving for a while, but maybe this will help you anyways. They tend to start drifting before they come into your lane if they're not gonna use their turn signal. So you'll start to see them slowly making their way into your lane. That's how you know they're gonna turn, even if they don't have their turn signals on. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's really not that hard. The, the turn signal is located right by your wheel. So you can go ahead and turn it up or down to turn on either one of your turn signals so people know what you're doing. Okay, honey? Good, I'm glad we've got this settled. Another thing is your lights. You are stupid if you do not use your lights. Now, I am not gonna say that everybody remembers to turn on their lights 100% of the time because I have forgotten, but my dad always reminds me, but there have been times where I have almost driven out of the driveway without my lights on. But if it is raining hard, if it is raining hard, if it is dark outside, your lights need to be on because you obviously don't understand the tremendous difference it makes in seeing your car when your lights are on as opposed to when they're off. It is very difficult to see your car when it is dark outside, especially if you have a dark colored car. And it is also very difficult to see your car when it's pouring down rain and your lights are not on. Your lights should always be on. You can get pulled over for not having your lights on, okay? So this shouldn't just be about helping other drivers. This should also be about the fact that you can get pulled over by a cop for not having your lights on, okay? So turn the lights on up here, turn your lights on in your car, 
Okay. There's so many things that drivers do and they irritate me to no end. And this video could probably be half an hour if I did not use restraint. And I'm sure this is not the video you guys were expecting when I started vlogging today. And it honestly wasn't what I was expecting either. But there are people on the road that just need to learn how to drive properly. So if you do any of these things, please stop. Please use your turn signal. Please turn your lights on. And please do not park like an asshole. Please. Please. <laughs> There's so many things in the world that people can't do. And don't even get me started on trucks that are going 80 miles an hour down the beltway. Like, what are you doing? You are endangering so many people's lives right now. I don't even know how to handle this. <sighs> But like I said, it kind of has to be a short video because my nephew is turning six today and he's so cute. Um, so I've got to go and I will see you guys again on Wednesday. And I'm going to mention this now, but I will mention again later. So the from the 20th of June to like, I don't know, almost the 30th of June, I will not be making videos because I'm going to be on a missions trip in Arizona. And then after that, I will be gone until the second week of July. So, it's not that I won't be making videos for those weeks, but once until the second week of July, after the missions trip, I don't know if the vlogs are going to be on the days that they're usually uploaded on. I will try to maybe pre-record some stuff um, and then upload it later, so I will definitely pre-record some stuff because that might be easier for me to do. Um, so I'll try to maybe pre-record something to have it up during the week that I'm usually on a missions trip, but I... I'm going to be in the middle of nowhere, so the chances that that will happen will be very slim because I'm probably not going to have very great service there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, but after the missions trip, I'll try to, if I have pre-recorded videos, to upload them. If I don't, I will try my hardest to get some videos up. There will be videos during that time period though. There may not be videos during the time that I'm gone for the missions trip. And as I said, I will definitely reiterate this again closer to the end of May and the beginning of June because that's when it will be more applicable. But I did want to get that out there before I completely forgot about it. So I will see you guys on Wednesday. This Wednesday is going to be a coffee corner. I have decided to do more Riding 101 videos because it seems to have done very well and it seems to be helpful to some people. So I am going to be doing weekly Wednesday videos now. It's just going to alternate between coffee corner and Riding 101. So I will see you guys this weekend or this Wednesday for a coffee corner, which we haven't had in forever, and then Sunday for a regular Sunday vlog, and then the next, next weekend for another Writing 101 vlog. So I will see you guys then, and peace out.